Hey what's up guys it's Apollo Ochia here back with a new story the name of this story is what if Naruto joined the Anbu it is a story by the Riku 260 and yeah guys it's going to be a new series as well on my channel and before continuing this if you haven't please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado let's begin our story our story begins in sort of Hiruzen's office moments after Mizuki's defeat Commander Dragon whistled damn that's talent was impressed after watching the whole scene between Naruto and the traitor. Dragon couldn't help but imagine having that kind of talent in his forces. The kid could outrun and outprank his men since he was 10, and the young Jinchuriki was known to be stealthy even in orange, perfect for Anbu, and after creating hundreds of clones like nothing, Dragon knew his services would be invaluable to the village. But he was so young, the Hokage would be near impossible to convince about this. Yes, his chakra capacity is huge and with his solid henji, a shapeshift, really. He has more potential than some of the graduates. Sartobi chuckled and lit his pipe. Dragon whipped his head up. Impossible. Shapeshifting? As in not an illusion? He drooled slightly when the Hokage nodded and knew right then. Screw the age shift shifting took huge reserves and even then only a few bloodline holders seemed to be able to use it properly. It was probably the fox doing and as such had unlimited uses if Naruto could figure out how to transfer his abilities to become animal or any object even. I want him. Dragon clipped the Hokage and the Anbu guard gapped at him, wondering if their commander was finally losing his head. Sardavi quickly squashed the idea though, absolutely not, he's a a Ganon now. According to Iruka's headband on him and thus he can become Manbu Hokage-sama. Hokage-sama, surely you see how much talent he has. And those academy reports show he should have graduated three years ago. Dragon smirked at the slight wince on his boss's face. Sarutobi had called upon Naruto's file after he failed the afternoon. Needless to say, he was pissed at the revelation that the boy should have graduated at the 9, not failed 3 times. Contrary to popular belief, failing the ninjutsu portion didn't stop one from becoming a Ganin. You had to fail 3 sections. Apparently, Mizuki and other teachers would intentionally alter the test before Iruka saw yet were stupid enough to keep the originals in the file cabinets. Nobody had ever asked for the orphan's real file and thus his scores reported a moron. Naruto hadn't stolen the scroll, he would have been given an honorary graduation in the morning. Sardobi knew he failed the boy greatly, but letting him in the darkness of their world so easily and early was not something he should allow, no matter how much he, the talent the boy possessed. He just made the ranks though. Naruto will be placed under Kakashi. I'm sure he will learn plenty there and you can recruit him in a few years if you want to, he said with a firm voice of steel. Normally Ben would drop it. After that, Dragon was not normal, however. He faked his death for his village, changed his fighting style so much that nobody could recognize him. He once faced 10 Eva Chunins and a Jonin with 3 Kunai and barely any Chakra. He still hasn't spent their bounties completely. Dragon knew not what backing down meant, not when it came to the safety of the village. Akashi is inept in teaching and life at the moment. His teammates will be taught without a doubt. The Uchiha, who we both know is a flight risk. Having our Jinchuriki make bonds with a potential traitor is foolish, Okage-sama. Sorry to be flattered. Good. Just a little more, he thought. Also, being in Anbu, who only answers to the Hokage, would protect him should anything ever happen to him. And let's be honest, keeping Naruto away from public eye for several years could finally let their hatred die down. When he leaves, he will be given whatever rank he deserves. What Dragon didn't say was that a few our ears would hopefully be at least 10. He viewed this as a short or sort of long term investment. Why train three Anbus that would leave within a couple of years due to stress or wanting something else in their career when you can mold one amazing Anbu and have them for over a decade of time? It worked with Tanzo, who was still in the forces without showing a sign of burnout. Of course, Dragon wouldn't tell his leader that, nor would he mention that he planned for the kid to become captain level within two years. Sardobi did take too kindly to rushing on in just training, but Naruto's ability with shadow clans just back to be abused. Very well, I would consent to this for a time. What score do you suggest? Sardobi sighed. He sensed it was far for the best for now. 
for all parties involved especially, the boy he failed. And maybe the squad he was assigned would turn Naruto into a fantastic shinobi. I think Ro would be best. Tenzo can train him into the ground, help him with the fox and give him some manners. That or either he kill him for his boisterous personality. Huh, maybe this isn't a good idea. Nah, you're a genius. And your genius no nose bound, dragon. He thought to himself, praising and patting himself on the shoulder in the mindscape of his. Almost another hour passed of the two men smoothing out details such as living arrangements and strategies to improve Naruto's stride. Dragon was in the middle of suggesting in a joking way, of course, for the most part, that is, shock therapy to loosen the addiction when the doors open and his new subordinate walks in with a scroll, the bright orange lighting up the night. Not even Dragon was sure how he was able to be so slippery in that outfit, but imagine his skills in proper clothing sent shiver down his spine. He put his game face on, not that anyone could see. Time to tell the kid the good news. Who didn't want to be on, Boo? 30 minutes later. And after Iruka sensei gave me his headband, I dropped Mizugi at the Anbu guard station and took Iruka sensei to the hospital and came here. Naruto said, ignoring the commander with practiced ease. Used to Gigi having a secretary even during private talks, he felt sickened with himself. His own stupidity led to his teacher staying in the hospital overnight. Looks of disgust from the nurses when he handed over his favorite man seemed justified for once. He had to get stronger to make sure it didn't happen again. The Hokage seat seemed hollow at this point. If he couldn't protect one person, how could he protect the whole village as its shield? Well, well, I'm glad you took the news of your tenant quite well. Seeing Naruto's major look of betrayal, the Hokage winced but continued, and I want to talk about your graduation. I didn't pass. Naruto was panicking inside. The only reason he didn't pass years ago was the stupid clone Jutsu. He knew the Jutsu now, or at least a variant of it. So what was the problem? How was he supposed to protect his precious people, whoever few they were? If he had to repeat another year at the academy, oh you pass Naruto, don't worry about that, it's just sort of a flatter in his resolve considering changing his mind. He really didn't feel right about this, fortunately or unfortunately that Hokage wasn't sure yet. His most trust is trusted ninja had no fears and instead seemed giddy, like a child with a new toy. I hope Naruto survives his fascinations. I wonder how Naruto will deal with Dragon's seemingly personal aversion to him eating ramen constantly. Originally, you would have been assigned to a team with Sasuke Uchiha, Sakura Haruno and Kakashi Harake. However, putting you under a regular Genin squad would be a mistake because both of your abilities and security risk of your having two high targets in Genin team on the same time. That is why the other villaging will be looking for opportunity at. As a result, you won't be in the normal forces, at the least for a while. You're under my command, kid. Welcome to the Anbu. The truth was stretched a bit, but Naruto bought it. If a bit flabbergasted, he recognized the Anbu as Dragon, the top Anbu. Gulping a bit, he nodded weakly. Why am I a uh, um, high target? He asked. Sasuke was a Uchiha and the last one at his clan. Of course, he'd be important, but Naruto? No one wanted him here. Why would it be different anywhere else? You're a Jinchuriki, a person who holds a tail beast. That makes you an asset to Konoha. Here, Dragon brushed off his leader's key. The kid needed the truth, not lies like the Hokage thought was best for him. It is a sad fact, but the truth in times of war, enemy villages will try to take you out first, and mission you are sent on could be sabotaged to either kidnap or kill you. To fix this, Having you in Anbu lets you be invisible while you train to become strong enough for these kind of threats. His voice was blunt, but Naruto found he rather liked that. His Gigi lied to him his entire life. Every time he asked about why he was hated or spit on the ground he walked upon, Hokage would let slip sweet lies to placate him. The sky thought speaking things he'd rather not hear. Being viewed as a trump card and primary target wasn't pleasant, but he was honest with it. Naruto found it amusing that other villagers desired him more than anyone here save a few, but chopped it off to wanting the fox, not him. Whatever Commander Dragons should have said, Naruto, is that the shadows are safer for a few years. It is my fault for not ensuring you receive proper training for your first day at the academy like the others in Churki do. In Anbu, I am able to fix my mistake. If you wish to leave the forces after you become Joni level, then at the time you can. Sarato be smiled at his segregate grandson. The smile fell, however, when Naruto bowed a bit stiffly. Understood. Okage-sama. I am ready for my first post. 
Naruto wasn't sure how he felt at the Hokage, but he knew the leader screwed him over. For the sounds of things, he should have been trained or at least told of his burden, not kept in the dark. Normally, he would just brush the incident under the rug, but this time his mouth wouldn't let the easy forgiveness come out. Sarato so knew he was screwed up. Using Naruto's affectionate nickname, coupled with the barely held contempt means, he lost his respect and trust. Besides being a personal issue, the Jichuriki had to stay loyal to the fir firm and regaining Hokage to keep political power in check. He had to gain his trust back. I'll make it up to you, Naruto. I promise. Dragon seemed pleased with Naruto's acceptance. If the kid refused or threw out a fit, he would have been hard-pressed to have the Hokage's backing. For his faults, Naruto wouldn't have done so, but the possibilities was always there. Come with me, Naruto. The men are ready for the bonfire. He rubbed his hands together. Something they wanted to do for years was finally coming to a pass. Everyone who was assigned to the orange duty had fantasies about what was about to happen. Naruto blinked at the comment and darkly chuckles from around him were heard. B -b -b bonfire he squeaked. They couldn't meant that, but he thought they could. Could they? Of your jumpsuits, don't worry. You'll be issued enough uniforms and off-duty clothes at the HQ. No! was heard all throughout the village as Naruto cries of Agamish echoed. Anbu HQ. Naruto gulped as he followed Dragon through the dark hallways that smelled faintly of blood. At the quarter, Master Naruto had signed his life away in blood, promising at the least seven years unless debilitating injuries or specific recommendations from the Hokage. He looked at the uniform given to him, a size extra small Anbu gear set in his arms. The mask looked up at him. It was supposed to be a mouse, with red whisker marks and black nose. Marking, staring up at Naruto. But the features were too much in his opinion. Naruto's nerves were on high alert. Still, he was even too nervous to care much about the obvious jab to his height and immaturity. Soon they reached the locker rooms. Locker 123 is yours, Naruto. Or should I say mouse? You can change and bring your kindling er, old clothes out to the communal area. Two doors on the right. Tonight you can sleep in the dorm and tomorrow before team practice your captain will find you an apartment in the Anbu complex. Anbu complex? Naruto quirked an eyebrow. He never could find where the Anbu lived or else he would have pranked the hell out of them. Then again, maybe that's why I didn't know. Yes, the complex. It's a series of apartment buildings that only Anbu and joint and approved Jonins can live in. Nobody will question you stay there and vandalize your lodgings. Oh, and I have no say in whatever you do in your free time. But I feel the need to remind you that pranking high-level ninjas when you live next to them could be considered a hazard to your health. Dragons replied smoothly. Somehow Naruto could tell the man enjoyed messing with his head. R right. I'll keep that in mind, Dragon Summer. He said with the rights fixed on the way the HQ attempt Naruto attempted a nickname and found out what flying 30 meters felt like. Then Naruto pr processed what he heard. There goes his epic plan for off-duty mischiefs. Glad to hear you agree. Now put on your uniform. Masks are to be worn on duty at all times outside the base. But you can leave it on your belt in the HQ. What about you? Naruto asked. They were in the HQ, but Dragon still wore his thick cloak and mask. I'm the commander. Mouse. I'm never off duty. And my identity is an S-class secret, even to my subordinates. With that said, his new leader walked stiffly out. Signaling the end of discussion. Ten minutes later, Naruto walked into the common room, masked, clipped to his belt, idly rubbing his Anbu Tanto. Inside 41 and off duty Anbus were gathered around his pile of clothes. Snacks were passed around and cameras were out to ready. Everything looked good and oddly normal, considering these were the elite and I'm one of them. Even if I don't deserve to be yet, but soon I can prove I can be useful. A man with a face plate headband and fish eyes spotted him from a circle of chatting agents. He beckoned Naruto's over. Welcome Naruto. Masks the mouse. I'm your captor, Tenzo. Our mission will be on missions you will call me Tiger. These are your teammates, Yugao, mask named Cat, and Hikaru, mask named Wolf. Those now identified Tenzo was formal and seemed to deem respect. Naruto, still not feeling back to normal after his revelation that he wasn't a geek ass ninja yet, responded in a very un -Naruto like manner. Thank you, Captain. I am sorry for my lack of skills. Cause can cause you trouble in the future. Sorry about that in the uh, advance. Naruto attempted to be respectful at his best, knowing the chanlessness wouldn't be appreciated. The others with Danzo were slightly shocked by the quiet and polite reply. The Naruto they all knew from childhood pranks would be shouting some 
think along the lines of how awesome he was and dreams to be a kage not apologizing for his obvious weakness hikaru known as one of the avid supporters of naruto's epic escapades and personality decided his new teammate needed to lighten up or become a mini kakashi he flips his long brown hair giving his new kohai a light yuga smirk oi chibi What's a squirt like you doing on Team Ryu? Honestly, Hikaru was looking forward to having the blonde as his squad mate. He himself was an avid joke enthusiast, not on the clock, of course. He felt that Naruto just needed a nudge after all that happened. Mizuki had already had many visitors after news spread of his attempts to kill Naruto. Naruto grew a thick tick mark. Who are you calling a chibi? And I'll have you know, I'll be kicking your ass one of these days. And just like that the dam broke and the old naruto shined through if one if only a bit more subdued and very from the betrayal it was as if a slightly weight lifted off his shoulders as he defended his height and abilities hmm <laughs> i'll believe it when i see it now throw your jump suit in the fire and let's start the party nikaru drags naruto over to the contained fire pit naruto pills at the prospect of getting rid of his suits It's not that he loved the color orange above all others he preferred red in all honesty or that he liked jumpsuits they were hard to maneuver in but they served a purpose if he could outstealth the elite and paint the hokage monument in that he could do it and anything and it came a part of him a way to not be ignored by villagers but naruto had a feeling that the anbu in the room would force him to burn them if he refused and he had no delusions of beating dozens of elites After a quick moment of contemplation, Naruto steeled himself and tossed the suit into the flames, determining in his eyes, "That was my childhood. Now I'm a new me, a Nanbu recruit. I'll become strong enough to keep tonight from repeating or ending in a body bag for someone." Cheers echoes throughout the room, and a hand pounded on his back. A lizard Nanbu gave him a nudge, and he caught tried to stuff a rice ball down his throat before the night waned, and he passed out into a creek dorm bed. Anbu had already became a better home than Naruto's old one. Next day, Naruto st- stared at his new quarters. His three boxes of stuff already stacked neatly in the corner, with break-ins common due to the location of Naruto's apartment in the red light district. It never seemed wise to keep too much stuff around. He dropped the duffel bag carrying the three extra uniform sets and six of duty of sets. Anbu pants, long black or green sleeve shirts. on the new brown couch looking around he couldn't see why this apartment was half the cost of the others it was small it was plain it was perfect naruto had a wide grin giddy despite himself yatta this is amazing look at this couch so firm and this window or oh, drafts the kitchen works appliances and the bedroom so comfy he ran from spot to spot like a chicken who lost his head Captain Tenzo shook his head at his newest recruit's enthusiasm but brushed it off as not of never having stuff half this nice. Gao chuckled and Hikaru well he joined in. This carpet is so soft and these chairs are so comfy. He bounced around just as much as Naruto did. Hikaru face palmed at the two youngest members antics. Hikaru Naruto's apartment is exactly like yours. There is no reason for you to act like a caffeine high toddler. Soon She honestly didn't understand how Hikaru made Anbu despite his abilities at both Taijutsu and Ninjutsu he was too carefree not was an exception he was young and both Hikaru and Tenzo had plans to beat him into a respectable member of team Ryu they had a reputation to take back they used to be the top squad until Itachi defected and Itachi left Kakashi left damaging their image of course as she observed Hikaru taunting Naruto from the ceiling and basking in the blonde's odd expression you go had to wonder if it was already too late for a complete makeover hey you go senpai naruto's voice cut through the music who are my neighbors he knew you go lived across him karu lived to her left and captain tenzo had a larger apartment to her right the new ninja never had neighbors before and the thought excited him to no end until he saw his entire squad wins <laughs> see uh, there's a reason this apartment is so cheap tenzo started kakashi is fine <laughs> he's on your right and stays quiet as a mouse but to your right well you got trailed off as she hugged herself it's a monster so horrible it made a single word became outlaw the car voice called from the ceiling they shuddered together and naruto scoffed he couldn't be that bad i'll bet you guys are just trying to scare me yosh i hear i have a youthful new neighbor to bask in the springtime of youth with A mysterious voice appeared in Naruto's doorway. 
are combined by the most horrible sight imaginable a green spandex alien the alien gave a thumbs up and made his teeth sparkle i am extremely youthful mito guy kono has youthful green beast welcome youthful friend it is most youthful to be an anbu so young naruto paled as the creature grabbed his hand in a handshake that swung him around the room it was then naruto noticed no of his new comrades were inside traitors to the bonds we built mean nothing in their respective apartments his teammates each said a silent prayer of apologies to their youngest new friend U- uzumaki naruto and nice to meet you he managed to out between pounding into the floor guy would have continued but an aloof troll stopped him mama guy don't kill our neighbor before i meet him the voice was accompanied by a cyclops reading the same orange book naruto saw hokage jiji read the man's eyes widened and narrowed when he spotted naruto in his own book gear great another hater he thought glumly naruto wasn't aware but kakashi was narrowing his eye at the fact his secret little brother figure and suppose his stu- future student was in a high security ranking apartment wearing the black ops gear his tattoo still fresh Whoever put him into Hanbu at his age is going to count how many jutsus I know as I test them on their dying bodies. Kashi Harake was many things, a failure as a teammate and a big brother being the two most important ones in his opinion, but he wouldn't stand for a newly promoted Ganon that barely passed to die in the corpse before he went to his obvious denial. Hokage, he seemed some to need some information. My name is Kakashi Harake. Who are you? You're awfully young to be an Hanbu. You're what, 11? He bantered, fishing for any scrap of inside. Uzumaki Naruto, and yes, I know I'm too young and inexperienced for this, but Yokage and Commander put me in it for a reason, okay? And I'm 12, and I'm not that small. Naruto snapped a bit at the man, not liking him one bit. Kashi ignored the tone. Sides already set on a certain Kage. His old teammates arrived then, no doubting hiding from the horrors that were his best friend. And looking at how Naruto was in a bone-crushing hug, listening about youth, He couldn't blame them. Now Kakashi dragged his old Kohai into the hall. Tenzo, he says coolly, "Why is my future student in Anbu?" The anger was evident and promising pain for Lies. Tenzo met his gaze evenly. "Senpai, you will have to take that up with the Hokage. As far as I know, Naruto was put onto my squad for his potential as both ninja swan specialist and tracking slash trap master." with his shadow clones and no offense but you're never shown interest in him before just because you feel you owe a debt to his father doesn't mean you can cast him aside until it suits you if you excuse me i have a limited time to turn again into an anbu he left a stunned kakashi and ducked his head into the hallway in time to see guy offer to take naruto on early morning training training yes naruto said excitedly training was always welcomed of course he never seen guy met it before Yosh, then I will wake you at four tomorrow, my most youthful neighbor. Ahem. Time to go, Naruto. Make two clones and have them study the rules and codes of conduct books I left in your bags. We have training until night. Night, night, night. Naruto nodded as he slid his mask on, becoming mouse to the outside world. The people in his complex may come to know his identity over time, but the more obscure he was to the common ninja and villagers, the better. Yes, Captain. He didn't even try to say Captain Fish Eyes. Dragon was bad enough. What could his captain do? Yigao held on to Naruto's shoulder and sanctioned them to Team Ryo's training grounds. Training ground two hours later, Naruto was working on katas in slow motion with Tenzo while ten clones worked on tree climbing under Yigao's gaze and Hikaru taught another ten clones the shuriken clone jutsu. As he focused on the forms Tenzo brought to light his situation. We have four weeks of uninterrupted training. Every day for 6 a.m. after guide till 9 at 9. I will work you to the bone. In first week, we will work on solidifying your basics and hopefully have you master both the shuriken, shuriken, and jutsu and tree climbing. Like all Anbus in the time, the Kawarami will become a sealless and instantaneous as it is the jutsu that has saved more ninjas than any other jutsu or two after the water walking sunshin kenjutsu and an elemental attack will be introduced you will be also memorized the anbu signs and rule book in this time as well as the map of the land of fire i can already do cover army without seals naruto looked away in embarrassment as tenzo gaped at him show me he ordered naruto wouldn't lie but tenzo had trouble believing that the boy could learn to use the jutsu to that level without help No matter how wrong his records were, Naruto instantly replaced with his backpack about a hundred feet away. I had 
nothing better to do last summer and read in a book about how getting Kamaravi to be a sea less was a chakra control exercise. I thought it would help me in clones. Not that in mention, he took seven months of practicing every day to do so. Well, good work. Then we will replace that time with hand speed practice in general and battle experience with the Kamaravi. What happened after that? A month of training won't make me ready for a mission. Not a skull as Tenzor wrapped his arm with a twig to correct his elbow height for a grappling move. After that, our team will take guard and patrol missions of known essential areas for another two months to solidify teamwork. During this grace period, his speed dodging, taijutsu, and kenjutsu skills will continue to be worked into something possible and the corpse. Trap specialist will begin improving your rapture in that art. I left space through these three months for two hours in the evening for you to learn another skill of either Fuenjutsu or Ninjutsu, or additional weaponry, which do you prefer? Not a thought for a moment. More Ninjutsu sound fun, but the honest. Now, Tenzo explained his control needed a lot of improvement before more Jutsu than the one planned could be learned. So that was out. Weaponry was necessary, but he already had three hours dedicated to his six days a week, and more throwing or sword practice shouldn't be needed. That left Fuenjutsu ceiling. I chose Fuenjutsu, Captain. Naruto said, only in a small voice, remembering the rule of while on duty or training quiet and serious. Tenzo nodded in approval and both his answers and volume. Good choice, Mouse. I don't know more than the basics, but I have a feeling even without help you'll find the arts to be easy. He said knowingly. Naruto narrowed his eyes slightly and prepped to grill his captain on the subject when Tenzo cut off his intake of air. Ten minutes break. I believe it's time we actually introduce ourselves besides name. The four ninjas sat in a circle while clones continued their work, masks off in the grass. I know we haven't really had the chance yet, but let's do proper introductions. Say your like and dislikes, hobbies and dreams. I will start. My name is Tenzo. I like Konoha, tea ceremonies, nature and reading architecture books. I don't like traitors, those who harm nature and loud people. Hey Naruto winced. He was much quieter already, but he didn't want to make his captain mad. I am busy as a captain of Team Ryu and my hobby would be gardening. My dream is making Konoha strong and help you all become stronger. You go, you go next. Okay, you got Uzuki. I like my boyfriend Hayate, Konoha, Dango and Swords. I dislike those who look down upon Kenjutsu and those who abandon comrades. My hobbies are sparring and visiting the hot springs. My dream is to become the world's greatest Kenjutsu user. Yo, I am Hikaru, Hikaru Yuga, the best Yuga in town. I like my clan, Konoha and messing around. I dislike seriousness, my clan's cage bird seals, and those who hate pranks. My hobbies are messing with people and origami. My dream is to become army commander and raise a family. Karu's speech was joking and funny, bringing a smile to Naruto's face. You go, Chibi. And the smile was gone. My name is Naruto Zamaki. I like ramen Hokage-sama. Even if I don't trust him at the moment, was Naruto's unspoken addition. And my new teammates. I dislike traitors, people who mock me, and the three minutes it takes for the ramen to cook. My dream well was to be Hokage, but now I don't know. Probably to become strong enough to protect my precious people. Now to finish not noticing the small smiles in his teammates' share. That alone made him more qualified for the position than half of the ninja. Good job. We have three months to make Naruto ready for a B and A class missions. Let's get to work. You gotta look determined at Tenzo's words. While Hikaru and Naruto jumped off joy. Oi, at your age, Hikaru. Naruto, you're on duty. Yugao scolded. it. Naruto quieted and stood ramrod straight, but Hikaru looked hurt. Aw, oh, but Yugao senpai, I'm only 15. Let me have fun with the chibi here. He potted. Naruto felt the need to hit his senpai, but held back, if only because he stood no chance on landing a hit. Last night approved the fortunate truth. Hokage's office. Let Naruto join Anbu. Are you insane, Hokage-sama? Kashi kept his voice mostly calm, but the obscene of his books suggested otherwise. Sarutobi sighed in annoyance at the man's repeat questions. We've been over this before, Kakashi. Naruto is now one of the Anbu, especially my personnel, not your future student. But I was supposed to. If you want to play the teach him card, you should have approached him in the academy like I suggested after his failed the first time, trying to convince me not to work. Kakashi had dropped in shame. It's true. He should have done more for the blonde besides the occasional guard rotation or donation to groceries. However, his whisper whipped up in hope. If you were to offer a young Anbu some trekking or ninjutsu lessons on his days off, su Sunday I believe, then I wouldn't have any problems with it. Kakashi beamed at the chance. He'd make this right, understood Hokage-sama. In a puff of smoke, he left. I sounded so confident while defending my decision to him, but I have my doubts. 
I don't. He's already becoming more emotionally stable under Tanzo, Ta- Tanzo and Guy. And Tanzo and Guy will be working on his endurance every morning as a favor to me. Naruto is fitting in quite nicely. A voice spoke from somewhere, but Sarutobi knew who it was. No matter how well they distorted their voice or masked their chakra dragon, he breathed. Report on the initiation last night. Dragon chuckled. The bonfire went well. Too well, really. He carved started a ritual dancing honestly if not for these eyes i would know he was for, uh, from a major clan that pride themselves on their image sort of snorted the same could be said for you especially before perhaps after a pregnant cause sort of speak again is it wise to separate Naruto from the village for three months? I believe so. It gives Naruto time to heal after finding out about his burden and the chances for him to fade for, from their memories. True, but not telling Uruka and his classmates, Dragon shrugged at the concern. Most Anbu don't spread their identities around anyway, even if it, it's not forbidden amongst allies. Keeping Naruto busy all also keeps him from breaking HQ or the village, especially as he can spam hundreds of himself now. Both shared at the thought, point taken my friend. 4 a.m. next day, Naruto was awoken by being thrown into the ceiling. Yosh, good morning, my youthful neighbor. Let us work over flames of youth and become more youthful. Naruto groaned and reached for his uniform. Give me five minutes to get dressed. Imamal Gaia was giving him a thumbs up in the darkened room, and the flash from his teeth blinked a blurry eyed Naruto. He worked on pulling the pants on and was moving to the shirt. Gaia patients ran short at this point and helped Naruto change into a green sp- jumpsuit. At 9 a.m., an red, bloody, and ridiculous-looking Naruto trucked to Rio training ground. His three teammates bit their lips to stop their laughter and dropped it, but not before Hikaru snapped a picture. You look rather youthful this morning, Tenzo said with a straight face. From that day on, Naruto set an alarm 10 minutes before and was fully dressed before Guy arrived. Six days after, Sunday at noon, Naruto was dragged himself up to the steps after a gruggling eight hours workout with Guy and his mini me. Normally, Shinobi would be sore for weeks, but with Naruto, a hot shower and relaxing after eating ramen would cure every ache. However, waiting outside his room was his favorite, or at least the least, the least favorite neighbor, Kakashi. The man had explained his odd behavior during their first meeting. Apparently, he was supposed to be his new Johnny sensei, but Naruto still didn't particularly like the man who just seemed to ignore you with his book, yet still follow you every move. However, his captain and Yugao senpai always stressed manners. No Naruto put on the most polite and fake smile he knew. Hello, Kakashi. If you're looking for Captain Tanzo, he's on a mission today. Sundays were his free times. The rest of the squad had patrol. Kakashi Asmal behind his book. I was actually looking for you, Naruto. I don't get my team for another week, and even then, it may be months before we do any missions. The Kage told me Sundays were your days off, no? Naruto nodded, and somehow the eye smile grew larger. Excellent. How would you like the tracking lessons every Sunday from noon until 7? Naruto grinned slightly at that. He wasn't one to pass up more training. Maybe Kakashi wasn't that bad. Iruka, day of team placements. A fuming Iruka told the brats their team placements, same as Canon, as Sai replaces Naruto and walked out. His favorite student was nowhere to be found. The Armbu commander just informed him that Naruto had an unusual placement and a homeschooled boy would fill the void on Team 7. Even the Hokage refused to tell him anything, claiming Naruto would contact him if he wishes, and that his new assignment and living quarters are classified for Jonins and above. And that translated to Iruka, a mere chonin, standing no chance to find out about his necklace student. Oh, Naruto, what have you gotten into now? Collapsing at his desk at home, Ruka ran his finger over his scar, grunting at the mysterious file box spotted on the bare wood. Being a chunin teacher, it wasn't uncommon for him to find such a scene. If the Okage wanted a certain lesson taught in the academy without the consular interfering, or if Naruto hadn't been eating enough, a box or in mouth would just magically appear. Sighing, he pushed the Medium file folder box lid away, immediately perking up at the stick note saying real Naruto Uzumaki files classified. As Ruka reached each report and read it, like reports, tests, and past graduation attempts, his blood got hotter and hotter. By the end, Ruka had tears of realization he had screwed up. Thinking back, Ruka realized he was to blame. He never called on Naruto in his class, believing the other teachers who said he would just cause trouble and treat him like he was just a troublemaker. When in actuality, Naruto's pranks were ingenious, 
horrible for victims, but ingenious. Instead of realizing Arnold was a stupid and his pranks were more than just childish escapades, but elaborating planned missions, Iruka had rushed off Naruto and believed trading him to ramen once a week made up for it. He, deserved a second ch he didn't deserve a second chance, but a note on the last page gave him hope. One day he will visit you, then Iruka would apologize and make it up to him. Until then, Iruka had several teachers to visit. Time skip. One month. First patrol. This is it? Naruto asked, a bit miffed. He heard how his appointment to Anbu would let him bypass the dreaded D-ranks that Kakashi complained having to lead his students on. But this C-rank patrol and guarding mission of the hospital seemed to be the Anbu's version of D's. No, actually really, moving through the rafters while suppressing his chakra. He barely had that down now. And remaining unseen for 12 hours shift in uncomfortable position. The three explosive notes he finished three this morning for his first mission were itching to be used, but using explosions in hospital were frowned upon. His parole partner, Yugao, bobbed him on the head. Yes, this is it. What do you think, Anbu, was all assassination and sabotage? Not in order seriously. Think that, yes, this is what he signed up for. Well, it's not. Every squad has both villages duty and border patrol to go, along with the higher level missions. Now be quiet and on your guard. The front lobby. And remember, the radio and shadow clones for emergencies. Not aside and left for his mission. The post for the onboard slipped each floor into the section. Team Row was assigned the bottom two floors, while another manages the top three. For his press, Naruto had a front row seat to all the hospital drama. It was horribly boring, but a difficult man at the desk looked promising. Sir, please calm down. I will not calm down. Not until you take me to my son. A simple C rank to river, they say. Simple my ass. He been in heart surgery for six hours. A burly civilian waved his fist in a threatening manner, and a nurse gave the signal for his intervention. God anger. Naruto whispered into the headset. God anger translated into a civilian on the verge of physical violence. Appearing between the maddening and the red faced father, Naruto said the rehearsed lines kept a tensor drill into his head. Two days passed. Sir, my apologies for any trouble, but the healers are doing their best. Please be patient and sit down. Naruto pointed a finger to the nearest seat. Feeling very much like a crossing guard rather than a shinobi, at first comes at him and only the reflexes his training ground into him allowed Naruto's hand to grab the meaty globe, pumping chakra to match the strength of the man three sized his. Calm down. Hell no. Your ninja always ordered a civilian around, and I'm sick of it. He shouldn't even be a ninja. Take me to my son now. You go son shit behind him. Knocking him out with a tranquilizer, Naruto inclined his head gratefully and two order lies dragged the unconscious father away. Relieved, Naruto turned, nodded to the grateful but perplexed nurse, probably not used to five foot two Anbus, and disappeared in the post again. Good work, Mouse. You got voice praise from the headset. Naruto smiled slightly. Maybe guard posts weren't so bad. As this is where I'm going to be leaving off this part, guys. If you like this one, let me know in the comments below and. If you haven't, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And this is Apollo Ochiha, and I'm signing out. Peace.